Hey, what's up everybody? It's Team Last Nights. Welcome back to House 50 Part 8. I know, we made it through 8 parts. Alright, so hopefully today we can actually finish up the entire downstairs and hopefully get all the rooms laid out for the upstairs as well. Uh, but we do have a lot more to get done here on the bottom floor. Uh, I won't say too much, but we do have a decent amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to where we made this bathroom and I believe Part 7. It's been a while since I've recorded Part, uh, part 7 and 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to make a fireplace basically like right here. So what we're going to need is we're going to need our stone bricks. We'll need stone brick stairs as well, which are, where are they? Come on, show me. There they are. I found them. We will need another rack, of course, for, uh, for the actual fire itself. And basically that's it. We will have a cauldron coming up, up at the top, uh, but we can always do that a little bit later. Uh, let's see that really should be it and you of course might want a flint and steel to actually light it and so the flint and steel is here and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it about right here and so it's gonna be too wide and this will be the same design as a lot of my fireplaces I'm actually gonna move it over one more block so it should be something like this you just tack it all the way up you can even break these blocks now if you want just so you know where it is when you go outside and what we're gonna do is take your stairs and put the stairs here so it should look something just a little bit like this. Clear the wood out here. Put your nether rack. And can we get, whoop, can we get rid of these uh, gray wool? We can, sweet. And so what we're gonna do is we can replace that with quartz or something, just so it kind of matches a little bit more. So there we go. And now we can just put our stuff back, just like this, and bada boom, bada bing, and boom. And so now we have our fireplace. Fireplace is pretty simple, not too much to it. You uh, want to make sure your fire spread is turned off, which it is. And then light your fire, and then boom! Now we have the fire lights up the place a little bit more. And also, we might want to add like a door in here. Oh, I moved. Uh, the door needs to be here. So now we have a door, and I believe we can probably make this into a bathroom or into a guest bedroom, something like that. Uh, let's make a small wall, basically like right here coming out, one, two, three, four. Check this all the way up to about, actually that wouldn't look right, so let's not do that. I kind of forgot that we have the balcony up there. And I need to take some more swiftness, because I feel like I'm running out. And I was. Who knew? And let's see, let's put a couch somewhere in here. So the couch, we're going to use, uh, I might as well use quartz. Stick with the theme of the house, right? And so what we're going to do is use the stairs that I love using now. So basically something like this. It's a pretty big couch. And then you just put your quart slabs here in the middle. And boom, there's your couch. Uh, over here, we could do something like a pillar or something. So maybe put a pillar of quartz coming all the way down. So they are... Where are the pillar of quartz? There they are. Found them. So here, then to stack them down. And it might need to go up now. So we can have like a pillar there that comes all the way down. You can even have one that comes all the way up here. So we could do something like that to kind of continue. Let's make sure we get rid of that one. Whoop, come on. Let me the bad thing I hate about these quartz sometimes. Just trying to make sure, there we go. All right, so now we have those pillars that kind of act as supports a little bit as well. Uh, you could even, nah, we'll leave it like that. Uh, what I was kind of thinking about doing was taking glass panes out. I just want to see how this would look. Put like glass panes like here and here up top and then taking your quartz slabs and then putting the underneath it like this. Maybe. How does that look? I don't think it looks too bad. And I might keep that. And then what we're going to do is we can put like a uh, small kitchen here, stuff like that. You could even put a pool table. Uh, so let's go, let's see what we have to finish up on the down, on the down low, on the downstairs. Uh, I don't think we have too much more to do. Maybe just like a small wall here. Maybe even just move it to here if we need to. There we go. Now this can be another bathroom as well, or a, a smaller guest bedroom. In a mansion, you usually have a lot of bathrooms, so it could be a bathroom. Uh, how'd the cow get in here? 
Uh, cow, you're about to die. No hard feelings. Where are you at? Alright, uh, nobody saw that. No animal cruelty in this video. And so now, let's go upstairs. So, in part 7, we made the outline for the bathroom here. So what we need to do is make a door. And the door, I feel like, should go about here. So we can get rid of some of this right here up top, because it's not going to show on the outside. And what we can do is we can put sinks here, stuff like that. And what we're going to use is, we're going to use stone bricks, stone brick stairs, and maybe some slabs as well. Uh, but what we're going to do is put the stairs here, have something here in the middle, and basically here's your countertops. You can even just have back-to-back -back stairs for a little bit bigger sink. So now we have a little bit bigger sink. If it's perfectly, we have a small window there. Uh, the shower, we're going to have a pretty small shower. And the shower would just be just like this, a full block, maybe something like this, and then a half slab, and then maybe make this into this last block into a pillar. Stack it up about, eh, about four. And then put maybe something like this so many options when it comes to making just everything in minecraft and in life just in general let me put some glass panes in here do do and do do and do do there we go now we have a small shower even you could put like this here which kind of looks like the door for the shower so now we have the shower uh the bath or not i want to say the bath but the actual toilet we could use an anvil and maybe even a trap door who would have thought who would have thunk it uh the trap doors they moved everything around so we're trying to get used to it we could put here and then put the trap door there so now we have a nice simple toilet and then ooh, i saw something else we could do we could put a pillar of quartz or just quartz like that in general and then we could take out carpet of any color, really. I might use gray carpet. And then we can kind of make like a shelf here for storing some of your things. So there we go. Now we have the bathroom. You can even change the color of the floor if you want, of course. Uh, what color would look pretty good in here? Maybe... I feel like light blue carpet would look pretty good. Just put like light blue carpet all around in here. And, let, uh, and just not underneath the anvil because we can't put it there. And then we're at the redo all of these real quick. Do, 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 do. And then there we go. Now we have our shelving again. We have our bathroom. Bada boom, bada bing. We're done with that. Right here, I feel like we can make this into a small little like reading area. And so, whoop. So that goes outside. Uh, let's see. Let's make this into a full wall here. Just to make it, it, things a little bit more even. And I need to take some more swiftness as well. I'm sorry if it sounds like my nose is a little stuffed up. It kind of is. Ah, oh, so excuse me if you guys can hear a difference in my voice. So let's just stack this all the way. Oh, messed up. All the way up to here. Probably make like a small wall here. And then stack this up as well. And maybe something we can even do is put like glass here. To kind of give it a little bit more look. And so like I said, this could be like a small reading area. So we could have the quartz stairs. Make like a small couch here. This won't be the same size couch as some of the other ones. Just because we don't need to have it as big. So boom. And then let's put some bookshelves in here. So the bookshelves could go like right here. And stack them up a little bit. So I had the bookshelves there. Uh, what could we do? Oh, well, we can't do anything like that there. I'm kind of, I, I feel like a waterfall will look really good in here. Oh my goodness, my nose is killing me. So maybe we could do something like this. Uh, now that wouldn't work still. What would make this work? So if we made this too wide, something like this. Would this work? Let's see. I don't think it will because I feel like we'd have to make it one wider. Yep, that was my that was the problem I was thinking about. Oh god. Oh, we're it's overflowing. It's overflowing. Okay. 
So let's get rid of that. So my theory was right. It would have to be one wider out. So I guess we could do something like that because like I said, I feel like a waterfall would look pretty good in here for relaxing and just having that extra relaxing area. So something like this, now this should actually work. So now if we put slab here, just, oh, actually we need some of those. And we don't need that one anymore. There we go, now we can put water here. And aha, waterfall. And let me take some more night vision. Oh, that's not night vision. There we go. Okay, so now we have the nice little reading area after the small flood of 2014. And maybe just add a couple more books here. And then maybe even up top here, we could get rid of one shelf here and put a small shelf. And then let's get rid of some of this. And let's put a couple flower pots. So let's use roses, flower, and some ferns. So put flower pots like every other one. Put like a rose here in the middle. And maybe even just two ferns on the sides. And then maybe you could put a couple more down here. So a rose and a rose. There, there we go. I feel like that actually helps the room a little bit. Maybe even add a little bit more carpet in here. Uh, what would be a nice relaxing carpet? I feel like maybe green. Yeah, I feel like green carpet would be pretty good. So let's put green carpet in here. Let's see how it looks. Because we're trying to go green, guys. It's a new thing. Eco-friendly. And... Yeah, I feel like it actually works with the room a little bit. So now we have our relaxing area. We have we basically have everything. Even for lighting, we could put glowstone, like right here, as well. Then I also need to get one more thing finished. Replace that with that. There we go. Now everything's finished. Okay, let's move on. So that's done. Uh, over here, we need to have the door to our balcony. Let's move it over one more block. Actually, that's where that works. Having it be too wide, and so we could replace that with. Uh, we need our oak wood back out. Oak wood goes here, and then let's replace it. Well, I won't say replace, but let's put a door, our wooden doors right here. So now we have our balcony doors there. Again, maybe even add a small wall, like this, and then put some glass panes here in the middle. All right, so now we have that. So now over here, I'm gonna do this, see how this looks. Do do. I actually kinda like that a little bit. Uh, ooh, we need to put something like that there. Okay, Uh, so over here is where all the bedrooms and everything's gonna be. The master bedroom, is, of course, it's the master bedroom in, in a mansion, so it's gonna be pretty big, but we don't wanna make it too big to where it takes up the entire second floor Something maybe it starts like right here, comes all the way over, maybe turns and connects with this wall here. And then what we can do is have the second bedroom start one, two, three, four, five, five uh, on the sixth block would be better. On the sixth block and have that one come all the way out to about here, just before the window there. So now this could be a small bedroom. Uh, let's see. The next bedroom we could have, let's see, let's take some more swiftness real quick as well. Also, I want to replace this with a full wall. So full wall and full wall. Maybe even put one there. Do I have to have this here? No, I do not. There we go. Okay, and then let's kind of extend the rooms out a little bit more. So maybe even Put one here, and then we can make this like last one here into a bathroom. Maybe even extend this out a little bit, so we have three blocks of moving space there. Stack this up as well, so maybe this could be the bathroom or another bedroom. I don't know, a lot of decisions to be made. And I might not do... Uh, the layouts of these just because we're already at it looks like 15 minutes a lot of people know the layouts and everything for kitchens uh, I, I don't know why I said kitchen that's downstairs not upstairs uh, for the bedrooms that I make usually the bedrooms are pretty much the same 
all around. And so right now I'm just kind of making these walls for our for our rooms. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where to put the doors and everything. And I'll tell you, I'll I'll probably do the master bedroom. The master bedroom is a little more tricky because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, but the other rooms you can kind of just put like regular beds in there and stuff like that. I know some people they don't like to go for realism. Well, I want to say that they don't like to go for the actual use. Like I know some people use fake beds, just using wool stuff like that. I'm, I've never really been big into that because if I make a house, I kind of want to sleep in it. But then again, I do understand the point of it just so you have that extra look to it, I guess. It looks more more realistic. So I understand both ways, but I'm just not the biggest fan of using and doing it the other way. And can I reach? Ah, oh, I can't. Damn. So let's come in here, put our quartz here so we can kind of cover up the roof a little bit so we don't have the roof for our for our ceiling and so just finishing this up almost done and we have one more wall to do actually nope that one's done already sweet and it's like this wall up for the master this will be the entrance so the entrance I feel like we should put like right here it, the entrance to the master should be a two uh, two door because it's bigger for the second bedroom we could put like one here that works. We could have another one here. Whoa, oh, come on, put it down. Put it up. Oh, there we go. Got it. And then the bathroom we could have here. And then let's see, where should we put the door for this one? Maybe this is a little bit bigger room. Maybe here. Uh, let's put it here. Okay, so now we have all of that. Uh, let's see, what else could we do? Maybe you could put like some quartz court stairs going around the rooms a little bit what this will do is add a little bit more like crumbling a little bit would be the the architecture term so maybe something like that uh let's have a fireplace here so for the fireplace what I would kind of do I made this fireplace in the actual house when I made it for fun it was something like this I'm trying to remember exactly how I made it but I think it was something like this and then I stacked it up from here and I might have put something like this on the ends I don't know that doesn't look right oh, how did I make that fireplace kind of bugged me because I don't know what I did but I really liked the look of the fireplace that was the thing like it was my favorite part maybe something like this no that doesn't look right either Huh, let's see. All right, let's go back to the original design. Something like this. And then maybe slabs going across? That might have been it. And so we're gonna need our nether rack. Again, you wanna make sure your fire spread is turned off. It's very important. Just so your house does not catch on fire. Uh, did I put my, I think I did. I'll take the nether rack back out. Put it here. Maybe just even have the stairs come all the way across like that. All right, let's take some more night vision as well. So you guys can actually see when it runs out. Yeah, cause look how dark that is. And there we go. Okay, so now let's put our flint and steel in here, which is here. Oh, my inventory's full. And here. There we go. So now we have that all said and done. Uh, let's see. What else should we do? We have quite a lot of room to work with here. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not really sure what we should do with all this extra space. So let's go finish up the master bedroom. So he, right here, I want this to be a closet. I am kind of feel like that would be a good thing to have here. So we can stack this all the way up. Make this like a door here. Then put like chest here. Something like that. So the chests are here. And just stack them all the way up. It's right here. You can't use the top one, but you can use the rest of them. Then here, I feel like you could just use carpet again for, for your... Uh... Man, I can't think of anything today. For... For the shelving, 
Something like that. Okay. The bed. I'm going to use actual beds with uh, regular spruce wood, maybe some spruce wood planks, some cobblestone walls, and let's see where we can go from there. So let's have sideways logs like this. And then let's put two beds here in the middle. So it should look something like this. Maybe move this one over one more. Get rid of that one. Let's put two sideways logs here at the very end. Actually, let's have it to be the full length like this. Put maybe some slabs here in the middle. Maybe using this. Eh, let's use spruce wood slabs to keep, continue with the theme a little bit. Just like this. Put the cobblestone walls stacking up two or three. Your option on those. I'm doing three. Just like this. And then maybe finish it off with something like this. Then there we go. Now you have your your bed. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. Hopefully you guys like this house. Again, I make house videos every Wednesday and Friday. And maybe since it's summertime now, I'll probably even maybe do house videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday since I have a little bit more time. Uh, but they'll hopefully come a little bit later. I'll try to get let you guys know on that. So hopefully, again, you guys like this house. It's been a lot of time. It's been eight parts. So I'll talk to all you guys later. And again, thank you for watching. And I'll